Donald Trump and some of his most prominent supporters have been openly critical of military officials, which some of observers point to as a break with the previous orthodoxy of the Republican Party. Joining us now, senior fellow at the Council of Foreign Relations and columnist at the Washington Post, Max Boot. Max, always good to see you. So uh, you just wrote a piece titled, Imagine if a squad member called a general a stupid pig. Tucker Carlson just did. In case our viewers have not seen those comments for themselves, I want to play that quickly. I've read Mao Zedong. I've read, I've read Karl Marx. I've read Lenin. That doesn't make me a communist. So what is wrong with understanding, having some situational understanding about the country for which we are here to defend? And I personally find it offensive that we are accusing the United States military, our general officers, our commissioned, non-commissioned officers, of being, quote, woke. <laughs> he's not just a pig, he's stupid. So you pose the question, what would happen if a Democrat had said that? What do, you, what do you think would happen? What if it was a member of the squad, for example? Well, it's pretty obvious that people like Tucker Carlson would be having a hissy fit if it had been a member of the squad, AOC or Ilhan Omar or somebody else who had called America's top general a stupid pig, right? You can easily imagine people like Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingraham and Sean Hannity and all the rest saying that, you know, these are remarks that show this person is a traitor. They're un-American. They ought to go back where they come from. And yet, Tucker Carlson gets away with this vile name-calling, and there is not a peep of protest on the right. Remember, Tucker Carlson, who has never served a day in uniform in his life, is calling our top general, somebody who is not only a graduate of Princeton and Columbia University, but has served in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan, who has risked his life, who has been away from his family for years at a time. Tucker Carlson is saying he's a stupid pig. And the right seems perfectly OK with that. That, to me, is just vile and unacceptable. But it's a sign of where the Republican Party is today in the post-Trump era. Where do you think that shift began? I mean, is there a moment that sticks out for you where this shift started for the Republican Party, which has always been seen as you know, very pro-military and, and, and having a lot of support uh, among veterans, even among active, active duty, although obviously they're not saying it while they're, while they're enlisted. Is there a moment that you think really kick-started this shift that we're seeing? I think, this is, I think this is another example of how Donald Trump has transformed the Republican Party for the worse. All Donald Trump cares about is personal loyalty to Donald Trump. And so, therefore, he has been willing to trash the military when he feels like they're not doing exactly what he wants. In fact, we've had some recent revelations of that in a new book by Wall Street Journal reporter Michael Bender, who writes about how Trump demanded last summer that the military crack the skulls of civil rights demonstrators. And he was furious when General Milley and other generals refused to go along. In we actually past. have that, Max. I want, I want to, you, okay. you led us into it perfectly, yeah. so thank you. Okay. Um, but we do have sure. that available. Um, so in this, uh, this comes to us, as you point out, from the Wall Street Journal's Michael Bender in his new book. And it details the shouting match between Trump and General Milley. And we can see it up there on the screen, where Trump yells at Milley, saying, I said you're an effing charge. Well, I'm not in charge, Milley yells back. You can't. I mean, talk to me like that, Trump said. And Milley turns to others to say, there's a room full of lawyers here. Will someone inform him of my legal responsibilities? Here, Bill Barr steps in to say he's right, the general is right. That exchange, forget the fact that maybe the former president was not aware, right, of what his actual responsibilities are, what the legal ramifications could be. That exchange with the general says a lot, to your point. Exactly. And in the past that we know that uh, Trump has referred to our generals as dopes and babies. That's a revelation from an earlier book about the Trump presidency. He's also uh, been reported to saying that the people who gave their lives for this country, who are buried in our military cemeteries, are suckers and losers. I think that's an indication of Trump's worldview, which is that it's all about Trump. He can't imagine somebody who is heroic and self-sacrificing for the nation, and he can't understand why generals don't simply do everything that he wants, however unconstitutional, illegal, or immoral it may be. For Trump, it's all about personal loyalty to him and about his agenda. And unfortunately, I think a lot of Republicans are now copying that mindset. They've seen that Trump 
can get away with trashing our generals, trashing our war dead, trashing our military, and they realize that their base is perfectly fine with that, that all they care about is loyalty to Trump and loyalty to the some of the populist hard right positions of the Republican Party. And and so the, the base is not going to inflict any cost on them for disparaging the, the, the military. And that's why you see so many on the right now, including uh, folks like Senator Ted Cruz, uh, uh, Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingraham, and so many others, Matt Gates, Congressman Matt Gates, so many others who are now trashing and mocking the U.S. military for supposedly being woke and for supposedly embracing critical race theory. And, you know, talk, and, and, and Trump is joining in that, talking about woke generals. I mean, it's complete nonsense. But it feels like the right is now waging this war on the U.S. military, which is the last thing I would have ever imagined, having grown up as a Republican and at a time when the party saw itself as being very pro-military. Mm -hmm.